So what if Bitcoin could do more than just sit in your wallet? Today we're talking about building with Bitcoin on the internet computer. I'm Aaron Bieber, one of your co-hosts. I'm Kyle Stofflet, your other co-host. We're back with ICP United. We got a very fun episode for you this week, so let's go. ICP All right, Kyle, so before we get into the main topics, what have we seen in the headlines? We just launched uh, ICP United on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts has been doing really well. Uh, the ICP United show in the US has gotten into the top 50 uh, best tech news shows. That's uh, huge. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, and it's even gotten attraction outside from other countries. It was number one in Omen. <laughs> yeah, uh, number one. <laughs> and uh, Peru, Germany, we, we popped in on the number 27 for yeah. tech news as well. So. Thanks everybody for getting behind ICP United as a web three, uh, just tech news show. Uh, we feel that way, uh, obviously ICP focused, but we're covering a lot of stuff here. It's definitely interesting for people to tune in, get caught up on all the events going on. And another headline I saw, thanks to ICP Hub Poland for the heads up on this, they were researching DeFi Llama and they saw that 19 of the 20 most active DAOs in the world are built inside the internet computer. Really impressive stuff. And if you look deeper into DeFi Llama, you'll notice that even in the top 50, there's mostly internet computer yeah. DAOs. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a huge percentage of all active DAOs. And I think like sometimes people forget what's different about internet computer DAOs is that they're built inside the chain, on the chain. And most of the time the code itself is approved directly by DAO members and it just happens automatically. Like this is advanced DAOs and 19 of the 20 most active ones are, are these kind of advanced DAOs built in the internet computer. Uh, it feels good. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know, things are definitely picking up for governance with the internet computer yeah. and the DAOs are in the ecosystem. On-chain governance is a, is a massive win for the industry. Yep. Like proposals that fire in real time when they get passed, payments, all of that, it's it's really remarkable. All at web speed. You yeah, know? it's great to see all the DAO activity building up. We just reached a new milestone in internet computers history. Yep. Uh, just celebrated its fourth anniversary since May 10th. If people are ready to keep the party rolling and keep celebrating, uh, we got World Computer Summit coming up in June. That's gonna be a big deal. Yeah, so the World Computer Summit falls on June 3rd in yep. Zurich. There's gonna be two stages. Dominic's gonna be doing a keynote. A lot of exciting things going <laughs> on there. But uh, what if people can't make it to Zurich? There's gonna be an online live stream on oh, X done nice. by the ICP Hubs network. Nice. And that's gonna be from Zurich. Okay. featuring you know projects and hubs that are going to be talking about and celebrating uh the world computer yeah so. four years journeys uh i did i did see they're going to try to go behind the scenes a little bit it should be a good time so, yeah. yeah looking forward to it yeah looking forward to it for sure all right you ready to dive into some bitcoin stuff cal <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm all for it let's, let's get into go. it let's go we got a bitcoin episode here and like i do get a sense that not a lot of people are interested in other things. Like if you're a Bitcoin person, you're all Bitcoin. If you're like internet computer, you're all internet computer. If you're a Solana, you're Solana. Like why are we, you know, ICP United, we're primarily talking about rebuilding the internet, chain fusion, AI on chain, all that kind of stuff. Why are we talking about Bitcoin today? Why do you think Bitcoin's relevant? When we talk about Bitcoin specifically with internet computer, yeah. internet computer as a network is interoperable with all chains. That's right. And Bitcoin is the most prolific uh, crypto asset out there and one it's of the, the big biggest one. assets in the world. One of the biggest like assets in the world, $2 trillion dollar asset. Literally right? a, like bumping back and forth between like above Amazon and below <laughs> it. So like, it's, it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big deal for sure. You know, as you mentioned, like a lot of people are very strong in their core beliefs of which networks they support. Yep. But if you want to believe in a, a future of the internet and how Web3 gets there, you're going to need to use it with internet computer yeah. at some point. Yeah, I mean, how do you ignore one of the biggest digital assets on the planet and tried to rebuild the internet. So for all the internet computer folks out there, like we want Bitcoin involved with the future of the internet, which is building on the internet computer. Over the past few years, I've been, you know, more involved with the Bitcoin ecosystem and been at the Bitcoin conference in Miami and Nashville. Mm -hmm. And to kind of compare the two years, like more mining focused in mm -hmm. 2023. Yeah. Obviously that's what Bitcoin's built off of is you can mine Bitcoin, you know, get rewards. But last year in Nashville, there was a lot more excitement around the L2s, and that's still something that has a lot of friction from the native Bitcoiners. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like in this excitement phase, just like how it was with Ethereum and EVM and mm -hmm. what you can build yeah. around it. That's what's going on right now. And I believe that internet computer is gonna be a big part of 
what makes exciting things possible with Bitcoin. Yeah, and I personally love Bitcoin and the concept behind it. And when it launched, like there was this idea of payments and things like that. I think now it's moved into more of like store value and just like hold Bitcoin. But if we want the world to use Bitcoin, we really need to make sure that it can be integrated into more things. And right now, you know, that friction is something. So like we're, we want to unite the clans here and like get Bitcoin used in the future of the internet more like real-time payments and other kind of stuff like that the runes thing's interesting the ordinals are interesting i understand not everybody likes all that stuff there's the purists out there and i respect that but at the same time like if we want to grow bitcoin and the idea of bitcoin to the whole world i mean it's going to need a lot more it's going to need a lot more functionality and i think the internet computer could do that and that's what we're kind of excited about and why we're getting on board with all this all these bitcoin projects because we think they're important for the future of the internet computer and the future of the world computer itself yeah and some things that people probably already heard about within like the bitcoin ecosystem odin fun yeah. did and we'll touch on it more later yeah. and liquidium we'll touch on it later as well but like they started integrating you know chain key with the use case of bitcoin and it yep. just speeds it up. You're not waiting all that time for the transaction makes, and stuff. Makes Bitcoin more usable to more people. Yeah. And, and that's why we're excited about it. Uh, Kyle Langham, last year you got to hang out with him a little bit and spend some time. He had some similar thoughts. We've gone into this like tribalistic approach where um, you users will tend to prefer one or two chains and they almost and then they attack the other chains or they just refuse to move outside of it. That's for an industry that is built on network effects fragmenting ourselves like that is just completely uh, um, silly and it prevents us from actually realizing the true network effects, right? And so I think actually really that's one area where like if we want to actually grow blockchain in general, we have to tear down the tribalism. We have to tear down this idea that like, you know, I, I won't use that product because it's built on that chain. Even if I want to use that product, it's I can't because I can't support a different chain. Always good to hear from Kyle Langham. Uh, you know, I'm definitely bought into that vision of like building this stuff together. I think it's great. So something big coming up though in two weeks for the Bitcoin community. Uh, you want to fill, fill us all in on that? The world's biggest Bitcoin conference takes place here in Las Vegas this year. Nice. Done by Bitcoin Magazine. It'll be at the Venetian in Las Vegas from May 27th to the 29th. There's going to be a lot of excitement. There's a lot of different things people can do. Yeah, I saw they have a Satoshi Summer Camp, Satoshi Stadium, a whole bunch of cool stuff going on in the Expo Hall there. I never would have thought you could go play some basketball <laughs> uh, outside of just hearing some of the, the speakers. Yeah, and speaking of speakers, Jill Ford, one of our friends, is going to be speaking on the Genesis stage. And we got uh, some other friends running around too. Yeah, yeah, my friend Brad James, he's been doing mining with Brad over the years, so gonna be running into him at the conference and some of the events. I did notice that they have uh, Vice President JD Vance oh, speaking yeah. at the conference this year. They Bring just made an announcement. Finding out what's going on with the policy currently in the US administration. Like, let's let's hear what's the plans here. You yeah, know? you know, they, they teased the, you know, big Bitcoin strategic reserve and all this stuff. So it's always nice to see, you know, the political figures jumping in the mix yeah. and getting involved. It's with a the good conference. thing. It gives confidence that, hey, this ecosystem and the regulatory environment around Bitcoin and all of the Web 3.0 type projects is moving forward. So the conference, that's the big center of it all. But there's a lot of other things going on on top of that. What else are you seeing, Kyle? The ICP hub. United States has partnered with Trio to do the Trio mm -hmm. House events. That's going to be exciting because there's the Bitcoin Beach, there's the oh, yeah. barbecue, a and, bunch of cool stuff. Yeah, and we'll be we'll be sponsoring the bar for the series of events taking place there. If you like to party, the P and ICP is party. <laughs> That's yeah, not true. Computer party, let's go. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a good time for sure. I'm looking forward to hanging out with everyone there. That's going to be on the 28th and 29th at the Tyson Tiger Mansion. So there's also going to be uh, inscribing Vegas mm. uh, on the 27th, and I know some of uh, the Affinity folks are going to be there. Yeah, Kyle Langham and maybe Lamesh. Yeah, as well as some of the other ecosystem projects that are attending. Some so. other familiar faces for sure. Yeah, that should be a good. Uh, that's during the industry day. I think I saw that it's in a like a virtual production studio with giant LED walls. You know what? You know I like the virtual production. <laughs> <so>. Yes, <laughs> yes. Someday, someday we'll uh, we'll do this show in the jungle. You know? <laughs> well, there's still plenty of time to get tickets for the main Bitcoin conference uh, during Las Vegas, the 27th to the 29th. You can use our discount code, the Swap in order to save 10% when you make your purchase. Always nice to get a little extra off if you can. Yeah, I mean, the prices go up every week, so. That's right. So yeah, speaking of prices going up, uh, Bitcoin Pizza Day is coming up and uh, there's some stuff going on around that. We're sponsoring an event with uh, San Diego NFT friends. Basically every year, Pizza Dow throws this awesome event. It's at 420 cities this year. 
to celebrate. That's a wild story where uh, Laszlo used 10,000 Bitcoin to buy two pizzas from Papa John's, like, what was that, 2010? Yeah, worth over a billion dollars now? Like, okay. <laughs> Thankfully, it wasn't that price at the time, but yeah. No, so. <laughs> but wow, okay. We wouldn't have Bitcoin where it is without that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's, it's cool. So that's on May 22nd? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'll be fun. I love Pizza Day because it's really a great reminder of all the progress that's happened over the last like decade plus in the blockchain world. Uh, you uh, ready to get into some of these projects? Uh, yeah, let's, let's go. When we talk about Bitcoin moving into new frontiers, there is a lot of projects building right now. One big one comes to mind though, for sure. Odin Fun, uh, they just crossed over 4,000 Bitcoin in volume. We're 40% of the way to, to those two pizzas. Yeah, and hopefully to get in the rest of the 60% soon. So <laughs> they had 150 projects ascend on their platform. GG was one of them, go to Gamer. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so there's a lot of momentum building with that. They've only been launched at the time of the milestone, 99 yeah. days. So within that first 100 days, they they really I mean, you know went pedal to the metal there lots of really cool stuff going in obviously he's he's primarily focused on onboarding with the next million users on the bitcoin yeah. I think and that's and a they big just focus. crossed over a hundred thousand registered users for odin fun so hey ten percent of the way yeah i'll be the percentage guy today <laughs> <laughs> so yeah they're they're making a lot of traction again another project that we've been seeing doing a lot of building is liquidium they do instant rune loans their platform's well known on Bitcoin and in the ecosystem. It's one of the top places to get rune loans and now they're doing instant yeah. loans. Which yeah, is, yeah, they're which leveraging is great. internet computer, you know, get it really fast. That's one way to, ele again, elevating, creating better user experience for Bitcoin users. There's a lot of great builders building with Bitcoin on the internet computer and there a lot of them are gonna be in, in Las Vegas with us. I know Bob from Odin Fund as well as Ray from uh, BitOmni and the Kong Schwab team. And you can come meet some of these yeah. project founders if you wanna attend. Meet them, so. like find out who's building this stuff. So yeah, tons of great projects and, and events coming up here with Bitcoin and internet computer. I can imagine though a lot of our, our Bitcoin friends that are just kind of finding the show, finding this internet computer talk, probably wondering a little bit about legitimacy. So we're gonna get into that right now. Big news last week, House of Chimera, a group that's been doing research around blockchain technology for since 2011, released a report about the internet computer. What is it? How legit is it? So one of the things I thought was fascinating in their report was uh, the detail they went in depth about AI and AI monetization and tokenization uh, incentives. I think everyone wants to learn how they can have AI running and making money for them. Well, the internet computer makes it like really easy to communicate with other networks through chain fusion yep. and like get all these services where all of a sudden they could be trading or staking and earning governance rewards. And following governance too, like communities saying, here, here's what we want this agent to do and actually telling it what to do. It's having DAOs integrated with agents, making sure we're keeping them as well as having the large language models themselves, having those inside of the internet computer and then monitoring kind of what's coming out of that, the executions that are coming out of, of that from the agents. One of the big things across all blockchain ecosystems with AI is they need to be able to store and process data like privately, keep it encrypted. Yeah. With the internet computer, you'll be able to do that with uh, vet keys, so. Because I don't think most people want all their private AI agent data all over the place. I think it needs to be private, and I think this is ideal. And I love that they highlighted it. So the House of Chimera report on the internet computer was very comprehensive and covered a lot more than just AI on chain. Uh, provides a lot of validation for, for a lot of the builders and people that have been working on the internet computer. I highly recommend that you check it out. Our neighbors down south, ICB Hub Mexico, have a new boot camp started up. So it's the ICP boot camp, and nice. it runs from May 19th to the 30th. Nice. Yeah, that's going to be a big one. Another hackathon going on with ICP Hub Kenya. It just started, and uh -huh. it's going to be running until the 23rd this Yeah, that month. one looks cool. That was uh, about AI, building on AI. Yeah, build on AI from, from them. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on that one. AI is such a big topic right now, and Kenya has a great community of builders going on with the internet computer. I'm also going to be keeping an eye on our friends up north in Canada. It is Canada Crypto Week right now, and they've got a lot of stuff going on up there. They have the Blockchain Futurist Conference. It's consensus going on. There's another massive conference <laughs> um, and then they have an event going on with some family offices yeah the family office investor summit uh javier is doing he's he's a busy one this week i think he's running around like crazy he's involved with all of those things you just noted and, and even the hackathon with our, our friend daniel mccoy yes love the energy and it's exciting to see so there's a lot going on in the internet computer and we got a lot of things coming up too so make sure you're following us liking commenting sharing uh, it helps go a long way to to grow the show get a lot more people up to date with what's going on in the internet computer. So that's it for this episode and uh, we will see you next week. I
ACP.